Yo, how's it going, folks? It's me again, your boy Tavo, and this is another session of uh, creating a web page template. So last time, this is what we created. Um, yes, looked something like this, and um, yes, there were a couple of issues because the sizes were big and all of that, you know. So I had to fix it over here. The color of the text is white, and it was mainly because um, I had copied over um, the values for where is it yeah, for creating the h1 so they were all they all have the same settings which is actually not right um, because each text or each block would have a specific text uh, size that that would suit it and uh, if they're all generic then it's a lot of work because then you know it can create a mess so i think it's better to just keep it um keep it plain and then whatever changes that i want to make to it i can make later on you know accordingly when when it's only when it's needed so i'm just gonna first of all copy this over before i make any other changes i'll just go to the header and then um that's where i will make the changes because now this is gonna change i'm just gonna have to create Oh, let me just say hey, h1. I'll just say h1 is equal to create h1. Rather do it like that. And so here I will append the h1. Okay, let me see what it looks like once more. Okay, never mind. Oh, that was a stupid idea. Okay, so now I'm removing this dude, and I'm basically gonna remove it everywhere. Okay, just make it clean. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes. Gone is all that garbage. Okay, fine. Now everything is looking a bit normal and also stuff like this, you know, I mean, this is, this is just crap. Also need to remove that. Um, yeah, but at the moment, okay, that's not really important because I just want to also get this thing moving along. So with all that we created, the next thing is the footer. So I'm just basically going to start doing that. Yeah. And then whatever other fixes that we, I need to make, I will make them as I go. But at the end of the day, the most important thing is that this thing works at the end of the day. So that's what I can promise you, is that it will work as it did when I exhibited it. Okay, now I need to create a footer. Okay, so how I go about doing that is um, I can just come here to the bottom. Yeah, I'll just create here and then once again function and then um, create footer. Okay, so in order to create a footer, I'm going to need a div. Um, so. Create I think you're pretty familiar with this whole routine, so uh, and then I'll say I'll create a span and I'll say let's span equal to create span and um, I'll say I'll give the footer oh the div which is footer oh sorry let me just do it this way i'll just call it footer just so that this consistency okay dot style dot with is equal to 100 percent because i wanted to cover the whole screen width um then the background color i will make it gray so um, yeah that's what I'm gonna do this time no value like just I'll just put in the 
name of the color simple that way because I know what it looks like and I'm fine with that and then um, I'll add padding to the footer again so, uh, dot padding is equal to um, I'll make it um, 30 pixels by 10 pixels okay and then we'll Okay, I'm done with that, so now I'm gonna go to the span and then in the span I will give it a style uh, with the display of block. And um, I will give it a margin. Will be equal to auto okay so now I'm gonna in the photo I'm gonna append the span okay so I'll say if it dot append child um, then I'll put the span in there and then I will append the footer into the body so say document dot body dot append child and then I'll put the footer in there and then return the footer all right um, so that that should be it pretty much so when I um, go here and then I say create footer then it should it should work so create footer okay so there we've got the footer right so um, what I can also just do is then uh, add a little bit of detail to the like the span give it the text value and all of that so I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna say span uh, dot text content and then I'll make that equal to CMI footer dot copyright this is all fictitious well, obviously and say dot date and then 2020 whatever okay the that should Looks something like that. So okay, now we've got our footer. Okay, so that uh, went quickly, and which is awesome. So now we can get to the other stuff. So now that we have that, um, now we've got to start thinking. Okay, how can we make all of this interactive, right? How can I manipulate all of these things? And so for that, we're gonna then have to create. A small interface and this interface will be mainly made up of uh, some input um, and button elements okie doke um, so I'm gonna come here to the front and what I'm gonna do here is up here then I'm gonna create a div and I will give it an ID of interface okay so um, the face okay that's it and then I'm gonna give it a style so I'm gonna come here to my style and then uh, interface dev I'm gonna give it a background color uh, then I'll make that RGB 8080 80. okay and uh, I will give it a width of Let's say 100%, and I will give it a height of auto. There we go, and uh, position. I'll make it fixed so that it stays on top and doesn't move. And then, um, yeah, that will be it nothing else okay so let's see what that looks like um, doesn't look like anything 
Okay, well, um, yes, it's probably because there's nothing in it. Sorry. Um, if I just say 20 pixels, then yeah, there we go. Okay, there it is. Okay, so we'll leave it like that for now. I will leave it like that for now, just so that it's visible and always there, and I can always just see it. Okay, and then inside of this um, div, then I will start putting some inputs. So I will first start with, um, I will create also another div inside of it. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is add a div here. So um, I'm gonna give this an ID of, um, I'm gonna call the ID color input container, right? So it says color input container. Okay. And in here, I'm gonna have like my color input and then I'm gonna have two checker boxes. Okay. So um, I'll say input and then I'll make it into color type. And um, yes, for now I'll give it no value. Okay, so that will be just on top. Now I'm gonna create another div. Okay, and um, this div I'm gonna give it an ID called of color input say color input div yeah okay so there you go color input div and uh i'll kind of duplicate it and then put another one here they have the same idea usually i guess if you want to do something like this you would use a class yeah i used an id but it doesn't matter serves my purpose um but i'm just letting you know because uh, usually if you have wanna have a couple of elements having similar styles then using a class is usually the way to go okay but i guess i'm an unusual guy um so i'm gonna create another input but this will be a check checkbox so yes um sorry checkbox and then also here I will, I will create another one and uh, it will also be checkbox and uh, I will give it an ID uh, and I will call it text color this color and then this one I will also give it an ID and then this one will be background color yeah give it an idea of background color so this will be the input the checker box which will allow me to make changes to the background so when this is checked it means that I can change the color of the background if not then I can't and this will serve a similar purpose but for the text color okay so now that I've got that sorted I'm just trying to keep things organized okay so that's sorted so now i'm gonna create another input and it's gonna be like a bunch of inputs really here so it's text type input and then i will give it an id of text input and i will create another input here Okay, this is um, a type file input, and then I will give it an ID of, I'll say text. No, sorry, I will make it image input. And so there's gonna be quite a lot of these coming. Um, then I'm gonna create a button and then the button will be just a s simple ordinary button there's going to be quite a few of them but these are the buttons that i'm going to be using to add divs inside of other elements or adding text that sort of thing so yeah so i'm just basically going to create like a whole lot of buttons right and then i'll just keep um then i will, I will create the the functions that go with them you know? so in order to create the functionality that's how i will do it and then the other thing so okay so for now i'll just leave it at that and some of these i'm also going to give the, some st styles yeah, so that um, they look a certain way 
Okay, I've got the interface dev, um, the color input. I'm also going to give it uh, some style. And, and this is what the style is going to be. I'll give it a background color. Um, color and then it's RGB. I'll uh, say uh, 240, 240, and 240. I'll uh, give it display and to an inline block and then padding of zero. So it's display, so inline block, and then padding of zero. Okay. And then uh, I will give style to the color input div. Say so color input. Dev and that will have just a padding of 10 pixels. Okay, let's see um, so far. Okay, that should be okay. Let's see the progress. So that's what it looks like. I mean, this is not the greatest uh, interface, but like I said, you know. My aim here is not to create like a beautiful UI and all of that stuff. That that would take forever. Oh, and yes, that's not the point of the lesson. So that's what that looks like. Awesome. I know. Let me see. Um, there's something I've got to change, I think. Okay, so well, the first button will be a, a create header, right? That's what that will be. Okay, I can just make this also a capital letter. So this one, that, that'll be the first one. And then here, this is where I get all my files and all that stuff. Oh, it's already looking for it there. Awesome. Okay, um, so now that we created the button, so I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try out with one element to see um, if everything is working according to plan. So in the one button, then I'm going to create in the create header button, I'm going to add an event. Um, and then it's going to be on click. Basically on click, I wanted to um, call the create header um, function and then create a header for us as simple as that alrighty so um, that should be it so now let's go okay let's go here and then let's see okay so that's working and that's awesome so we can create a head at the click of a button. Okay, so that works just fine. So uh, the next one will be nav bar. So I'm gonna create another and say create nav bar. So I'm gonna go back here once again. And let's, okay, wait. So I create nav bar and change the name. All right, so there we go. So now I can create a header and I can create a nav bar. Cool, so that seems to be working fine now, but it seems like none of them are clickable. Yes, none of them are clickable because we haven't headed um, an event listener to them. So obviously not. Um, what I can do is then, then start working on the event to see if I can make them clickable. And then in terms of creating the other buttons, that's just making you creating a button and then us giving it the, the assigning it the event listener. That's that's all really. So I'm just gonna do this for a bunch of all these other functions that I've created, create header, content wrapper, and all of this stuff. So that's all it is really. Nothing, nothing fancy. There's nothing to it. So now I'm gonna create the, the event uh, window dot unload. And what that's supposed to do is, sorry, uh, is equal to function. 
it's just supposed to to basically uh whatever code i'm gonna put in here to just execute it once the whole page has been loaded so that i don't call functions which haven't been loaded yet since i'm referencing this script over here you know so that's just what it is like and there are there some other variables that i'm gonna create which uh, i will be using um so these are quite important so i will be creating them so that later on you know for when for the whole thing to function properly then i need to have all these variables so that's yeah what i need to let you know so i might as well i'm just gonna create them now so how, how I'm, I'm gonna how i'm gonna approach this is that um, i will just create these variables and then i will explain as i go what they do you know so yeah now we're creating the variable um so one is let body selected okay i'm sorry it's body item selected goes to false well that is um, it basically checks to see if an item or an element inside the body is selected then one is uh, obj focus which is equal to now by default and then uh, say color background which will be equal to false And then I will also create the change width size and change height size. So I will basically uh, create them, but I will not initialize them as yet. So I will do that later on. So now I'm just basically declaring them, but they're not yet initialized. okay so that's it and then here on this side i will also create a couple of well just not so many just two really other um okay so this the first one will be okay so now i'm also creating um two variables which i will be using later on so it's called uh, change bg color um BG would stand for background and then um, the other one will be change um, text color okay so it's just these two okay so now um, for our click event I'm gonna say window dot on click right um so yes i'm creating this click event for all the elements inside the body so this is equal to function event has an argument and then we'll say and so we will check um if okay first of all um i'll just check uh, if this actually works um so i'll just say whenever i click i should just say click right let's just see okay so i'll create a bar so clicked clicked so okay you can see here whenever i click it it just shows that okay so that is just working so far but it's not really doing anything now um so so now i'm going to create a condition and i'll say if so I want to change, check a couple of the IDs to make sure that I'm not clicking on the interface div or the, on the color input div. So I'm just going to check on these things. Okay. So I'll say uh, event is if, if event um, dot, dot target dot ID is not equal to interface div. IT is not equal to uh, interface dev. Oh, sorry. Interface dev. And another condition would be 
to check if the event target parent node ID is also not a so basically any element that is has a parent that I might click on to make sure that it does not belong to the interface div so that it's not a child of interface div because yeah we also don't want that okay so um, that's some um, event target dot uh, Parent node ID not equal to interface dev. Okay, another one would be I say end end to check if the event target parent node ID is not color input div so event dot it's not equal to color input div. And uh, the last one will be to check if I am not clicking on on the color input container. Okay, wait. I can still do this. Okay, so that's that. Um, just... Okay, so once these conditions are met, then then I will create another um, condition, and I will check if focus uh, is not equal to now. So if it's not equal to null, it means that if it's equal to null, it means that it has not been used, it has not uh, been assigned to any element. So no need to do anything to it, but if it has previously, then you need to clean it so that it's no longer considered selected, you know, by removing the style, the border style on it. So focus so I'll do that dot style yeah I was right the style dot border close to none okay and then um otherwise then we'll say obj focus is equal to the target and then then we start changing the style on it now it's one pixel solid magenta Then once that's done, then another condition, and then this will check if um, is not equal to if the element that I'm clicking on is not equal to an HTML element. Okay, so. That's what that does. 
and if it's not an HTML element then um, it will say bodies item selected equals true else it will be false okay should be right about okay okay so let's see what that does no, I'm just gonna check now to see if this works okay so what have I done wrong now invalid left hand side assignment at 57 Ah, okay. Now it's working. Oh, I'm actually happy because I thought I was going to run into some problems there. So as you can see, right, um, with everything that I've created here, now I'm able to select, you know, and here you can see I can make the border a bit uh, to make it thicker just to illustrate the, how that this is working. So you see when I select it, then I've got that. I'll add another uh, nav bar, maybe another one. So this is what this code does. Basically what's happening here is I'm checking to see if um, the ID of, of the target that I'm clicking on does not match the ID of any of these items here which are inside the interface uh, div, right? Because I don't want I don't want this to be clickable. This should not be clickable. So you can see as I click on it it doesn't it, the, there are no selection it does not select any of these items okay so i'm just going to clear it so yeah this is what this does and then when that passes then it moves on to the next condition now this condition checks to see if obj focus is null if it's now then it will not execute this but if it's not now then it will execute this it will basically clean the border style remove it and then it will then assign the border style to whichever element i have clicked on so it just keeps track of that so the event target event target means the i the element on which i have clicked so it changes every time you know uh it just basically tracks this event the click event and whatever item i have clicked on that is uh, the current item for that moment and then obj focus is then assigned that target so obj will be equal to the header uh, element if i'm if that's what i've clicked on and then once i have assigned it then i can then change the border style on the uh, element but always using this as a reference right the obj focus and so every time i click it will clear it and then redraw again you know Oh, so yeah and then what this does is basically it confirms that a body item has been selected so every time I click uh, as long as it's not an HTML element then it will say yes uh, a body item has been selected it will make it true otherwise it's false by default so that's what that code does so now that that is working um, then got to move on to the other stuff okay um so the next thing is i'm gonna create then an input um, event so i'll say window 
dot on input and then um, this will equal to another function event and then so inside of it I will remember I will say uh, change text color equals to document dot get element by ID text color okay so it's these variables over here okay so now I'm gonna be assigning them a value so let's do that say change text color is equal to document dot get element by ID and the ID will be text color checked okay and um, the next one will be change BG color equals to document dot get error and by ID and uh, this ID will be background color so what I'm referencing here is it's these guys over here and then okay so basically this is checking the the checked value of it okay so that is it will always check what the value of checked is if whether it's true or false and um, okay then I will create a switch and then with the switch I would like to check um, the event um, target dot type okay I will check what type of uh, element that I'm clicking on and so I'll set these different conditions I'll say if it's color right if if the input tag that I'm clicking on is color, is a color input, then do the following. And I'll say if if change bg color is equal to true, um, if that's true, then um, then I would like to change the background color. Yeah, okay, so. Okay, so um, it will then change the background color to whatever the value of the input is. And then I'll say um, else if, and then we will check the condition for change uh, text. Say if it's equal to true. If that is true, then this is what we're gonna do. value okay so yeah that's pretty much what that does um then once that's done then it will just break okay the default we can just make it log some information and say uh no matching input type yeah. You can just log that message just in case none of these um, evaluate the true okay so now that we're done with that um, okay so that's pretty much it okay so let's see how that works um, then I will go here okay wait uh, first I need to Okay, let me first check if this will work, right? Yeah. Document do not define 73, so I've got an error. Okay. Okay. 
here we go again um so now we're testing to see if this is gonna work ah it's not working so now let's try again um see ah cool so that's working just fine okay so um that's what that does this is the switch statement and um basically it checks the input type and then if it's color then it will check if uh, the change bg color is equal to true and this is what determines it right so every time we click on the checker it will then assign change bg the appropriate value so since i checked it it will check out as true and then it will then change the background color okay so that's how that works hope it's simple enough so i'm glad that that works um so let's okay uh yeah i know with the nav bar it's it, it didn't show because it's like behind this thing so that was the problem so, so don't panic and think that this is not working okay so now i'm clicking on the page um so i would like to okay so that is not yet working okay i need to sort that out um but that's that is not working as yet only this so anyway i'm just gonna um let's change the background okay let's change the background color for it we'll make it a uh, orange okay so that works uh yellow whatever that works okay okay well all that other stuff works and the selections work just as well fine so now um you've got to then create the ability to change the text and uh just not just the background color to change the image and all of that so now i've got to set that up okay so what do i have to do now okay so in order to do that now i've got to create uh, some more um cases so that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna duplicate that and just remove all of this stuff in here okay so now we're gonna check if whether the case is text right and then if it's text then we'll just say um obj focus um then dot text content is equal to EVT target dot value target dot value okay so that's that condition over there and uh, now we're gonna create another one okay uh, so we use the previous one but it doesn't matter as long as I get the job done that's what's important so now the next one that I'm gonna check is file see if it's a file type then uh, this is what i'm going to do obj uh, focus now say dot source will be equal to evt dot target and then this one will be slightly different um sorry target and then dot files and then we'll check that and then dot name and this is how i access the name of the file that i will be retrieving because when with the input uh, of the file type what it does is that when i click to go look for an let's say an image for instance then it has an array because like i have the possibility of creating multiple uh, files so what this means is that it's just that it, it is the first file within within the array and then it will look at that file and then it will check the name of it and then it will basically assign that name to uh, to whatever comes next like so it will get it will fetch the the image from this folder images slash name of file that's what it does okie doke so now let's test this dude once again oh, okay let's see can i change your text uh, yes i can change your text let's see about you what you can i change you to yes i can change you to and everything else still works fine let's see um see if everything still works fine yes okay that still works fine okay i'm gonna change you to yes that still works fine awesome i'm gonna now do that and yes 
that works fine. So everything is working like it's supposed to. I'm happy about that. Okay, so now we have our interactivity. So now we can change things around, change text and all of that. So now we've just got to add um, more buttons and be able to then insert more elements into this thing. Sorry, bad habit. Well, it's not a bad habit. I keep, I have a habit of always pressing save, of clicking save because, you know, this is what I used to do. Uh, I mean, in 3D, you're always paranoid about losing your work so i kind of developed a habit of saving every i don't know every five minutes or so so it just happens automatically so sometimes i do it and i'm programming and that's why i have these annoying pop-ups anyway that was irrelevant um so yes i'm gonna now um add add to the list here of of, of buttons you know so now i can have more items that i can add here so i'm just gonna go through yeah i'm just gonna keep duplicating really that's that's what i'm gonna do and take do it that way so i will okay i'll make that content wrapper okay that will be the content wrapper and um then I'll create another one, which will be the footer. Um, then another one will be say main con content. You can add the main content uh, and uh, maybe add a popular post. Okie joke, um, yeah, that's, that's, and then, then you have others, you know, like you can add your, um, like your H tag or whatever tag that you want to add. I mean, hey, I can put all these things there, but maybe for now, um, yeah, I just need to always cross reference to make sure that everything corresponds. Okay. I create content wrapper. Sorry. Um, so this will be footer. And then main content. Do I have such a thing? Main content is well I have main more oh, like main blog. I think this is what I want this to be. Yes, I think it's supposed to be main blog. Yeah. Um, well, I will check it out. If it doesn't work, then I'll scrutinize. We can then uh, popular post. Let's check popular post. About me post here. Yeah, popular post. Okay, cool. So that's what that does. Create popular post. No, okay. Let's. I'll make it add popular posts. Uh, and then add. No. Okay, so let's make that add popular post. I think this should also be add um, main blog. Okay, but then when I make changes, to, then I should change this whole thing. Like I should then remember to change these things and otherwise then nothing works. Well, let's go to popular post also. Wait. Um, side content, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay, um, okay, uh, that should be fine. If nothing is working, then the main blog is not defined. Okay, just 
bear with me there you go uh say add content wrapper and then let's then um let's add a photo we've got a photo and then it's a create popular post ah, this is not working okay um i'm gonna go back i think um i made a bit of a boo-boo okay i'm just gonna try to change them back to what they were okay um what i'm gonna do is yeah um the add main blog and add main content or add popular post and i basically have to create that again um so add popular post see the name is already reserved um yeah so what uh that will do is that i'll basically take that element um Yeah, because well the popular post i'm only adding it to the popular post dev so then i'm gonna uh, do that and then i will then just basically append yeah the popular post in there just like that okay let's first check it out Let's see if it works. So uh, say header and then content wrapper. And then yes, so that's what it does. So that's how you add it. And then we'll add the main content. So it's about similar. Let me see if I can then reuse this code. I'll uh, say add okay well, so are you there well main content okay let, let main blog main content yeah uh, uh, let's just say main content whatever um so i will then go to main content i will look for that and then i will basically append a main blog in there yeah um then i can add a div i can add this and that uh there's quite a quite a lot of yes stuff that i can add um but okay i will do a few i guess you know because at the end of the day you know uh, once you know how this is done then you can basically create all that stuff yourself so there really isn't any need for me to do all of that you know as long as the point is everything works i mean i think this is pretty um sufficient um, okay anyway let me just do the dev thing and then what i will do is um basically i will i will say if um body item selected is equals to false i will check if it's false So basically what that does is uh, I'm checking to see if whether an item has been selected and if not then what this will do is that it will then append the div into the, the body you know because there's nothing selected so it will just add it to the body you know um, to the body tag uh, but otherwise um, but otherwise if an item is selected then it will then add it to append it to that uh, particular item so it will always reference obj focus and then it will then append the div in there all right okay let's see if these dudes work uh first so i've got this button for add um set add main content right so add main, main content add popular post add popular post here and then sorry and then we'll say another button here we'll add a div now not dov Dev. Okay. Let's just say add. Okay. 
because okay once again hope all of this works because ooh mm -hmm. cannot read property pen child now 168 mm. Okay, the ad div works. Um, that was my mistake. I didn't I didn't check to see if this was changed and that was the problem. Okay, so that's that. But you can't see because of the color, um, because it's all the same really. But then let me see if I can add some text into this dude. Okay, so now I can I can add text to that dude. I can change the background color of that so you can see that it's not all the same not all the same not all the same okay i'll stop there add some stupid text add some more stupid text okay so the thing works okay that's 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 the great part so i'm just gonna do that or remove that i'll say i uh, create nav bar and then i will create a header okay so that's the one like a heading tag that's the okay probably the last thing that i will add you know and then after that then you're on your own so basically that works pretty much the same as this the only difference is that it instead as uh, an h1 or should i make it h2 yeah let's say h2 oh no a1 h1 h1 it's fine okay so that's that i'm starting there oh, i'll create my header and then i've got my nav bar oh yeah sorry my bad forgot to create the button again um no, this one will be out h1 is that what i called it is that what i called it no i did not call it that h1 oh this could get me in trouble um there you go at h1 so header at h1 or is it maybe because there's no text content probably that's that's the problem um h1 dot text content close to h1 yeah, I'll just do it like that. This is feeling kind of weird now. There. Okay, there you go. So it's there. Um, maybe I can center it by default. This one dot style dot um, text align. Um, I'm supposed to center. Okay. Oh. oh stupid still can't see it. okay cool that's there so yes i wanted to create the header the nav bar some text which maybe you can change the background here uh make it lovely mm, and then content wrapper and then yes inside here i can okay well i don't even have to click on that just add some popular posts so maybe add main content yes so this thing is working people yes you've got a working model here uh-huh uh-huh so there we go um this is what i promised you and everything is working as promised you can change the image there i'll choose a file i'll go to i'll select that and that has been changed that's awesome i'll go there and i'll say click on that and that has been changed that is awesome 
that is awesome um what else okay the other thing that i needed to create is this um the little button to turn it on and off so that you can see your beautiful creation right that to that makes total sense okay i'll just change this text to white let's make this dude white yeah there you are now you're officially white um what else <laughs> Oh yeah, the button. Okay. Yes, I'm going to be done now. Okay, so once I do the button, then it's over. You don't have to hear my silly voice again. Well, until the next one. So, let's, yeah, do that. Okay, so, okay, so, um, I'll basically create, uh, An input, another input, and then I will call it. Well, it will be type check checker checkbox, and um, I will call it. I'll give it an ID of. Uh, I'll call it interface switch. Okay. Um, and then what I will do with it is. I will give it like uh, an event listener on click and then it will reference a function called turn off right so and so whenever you click on it that's what it will do and so what turn off does is well, turn it off Okay, so um, where should I put it? Um, do, 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 do. Okay, I'll just put it here. And then um, I'll say function turn off. Right. And so what that does is uh, then create a variable called off switch. And then what this does it will reference say, an element of say document dot get element by ID um, and then this ID will be interface switch so basically I will be uh, referencing that the interface switch right okay so so what I'm gonna do now is I'll say if if of switch um, dot check yeah is equal to true then this is what I'm gonna do um, so if it's true then um, we'll go to then we'll change the style of the, um, the interface we'll turn the display we'll make it into none or block so we'll just rotate between the two so if this is true then it'll say document dot get element by id and then we'll say interface interface dev uh, interface dev and then we'll say yeah um dot style dot display equals to none but else, um, if it is false, then then it will be blocked. Okay. So that's what that does. Um, let me double check with my yeah, interface if that's the right one. Okay, so let's check how that works. Um, where's the button? Oh, here it is over here. Well, it works. Yeah, it works just fine. Oh, awesome. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some style to it. Um, so I'll, so I'll use, I'll uh, say, enter face. Switch and 
and then uh, I will give it a position of fixed I'll make it fixed uh, then I will give it a Z index of 2 and then I will give it a width of uh, 20 pixels and then height of um, 20 pixels as well and then I will then position it to the right um, I'll say right and I'll say zero um, and one last thing I'll, okay yeah that's it that was it no other last thing okay so let's check it out there we go we've got our little buddy there in the corner so when we switch on and off that's what happens header nav bar h wow what the deal yo h1's not working uh, i must have messed up something because uh, there's no way that it's not working yeah i must have messed something up what did i do now ah, come on man how could i have not messed up dumbass okay so what was the problem header nav bar Okay, that was weird. Abba, ta da, main content. Ooh, no, I can't do that before I have a wrapper. Yes, change, change that. Mushrooms, there we go, there we go, there we go. Change the heading, yes. Save. I love mushrooms. There we go. So now everything is okie doke. You can take that text, add some more lorem ipsum if you want to. It doesn't matter. But yeah, everything works. So add popular post. There we go. Take the mushrooms. Way too many mushrooms. Oh, I've got to change that. Oh, yes. Some window screen. Okay, maybe that's not appropriate. Ah, let's change that. Okay, whoa, everything is working just like it should, and I'm happy about this. Okay, so this will be the end of the lesson. Um, so there you go. You've got your template there. Okay, let's add a footer. One more time. Footer just to finish it off. Just to give it a foot to stand on, or a leg to stand on, whatever. Okay, there you go. So... This is what I promised you, this is what we created, and I think, yeah, eventually we got it, right? So you can do whatever you want with this, you know, you can go on further and make it more complicated. It doesn't matter, you know, uh, in terms of its practical use, what, what practical use does this actually have? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you can then, uh, if you want to create a website, you can just quickly do all this stuff and then you can just copy all of this and then make that your basic page and then you can make whatever other changes to it or maybe just to give a basic idea or basic design whatever you can be creative but at the end of the day i'm not teaching you how to create an app i'm basically teaching you how to code and giving you some inspiration so yeah with all of that said i think i'm gonna say goodbye now it's been awesome till the next one i love you my brothers and sisters i'm out if you thought this video was good and helpful, please press that like button. For any questions or input, just remember to leave a comment. And if you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe to my channel and I'll keep more stuff coming your way.